Hi everybody, this is Vitorials. Presenting your work is always a hard task, and mockups provide you an ultimate way to showcase your product in the real world settings and impress your client. You probably know that first impression is vital, so never, never show your work without the context. Today I am going to show you how to use mockups to present your final result as well as workflow. So what is mockup? Mockup is a PSD file that allows you to put your design on the real world object. It could be a street sign, window of the shop, business card, stationery, or surface with different kind of texture or text effect, uh, cutouts, wooden texture, metal texture, letterpress, embossed text, and so on. So mockups are handy things. Let's learn how to use it in Adobe Photoshop. So let's start our tutorial from Adobe Illustrator, where I have my logo and I want to save it for using in mockups. And the best way to save my logo design for mockup is to go to File, Export, Export S, and choose Photoshop file or PSD in PSD format. I'm gonna save it as logo vector and click export. Choose save it as a default color model as RGB and resolution as high 300 pixels per inch. Click OK. And now we are going to dig inside Photoshop. Here I have some mockups, but if you want to follow along this tutorial, you can find a link in the description and download one of the mockups. Unzip this file. Open the archive and here you can find a 3D wall logo mockup number 2. Double click on it to open the sign. You probably see another image, but it doesn't matter. On your last panel, you have the smart object and this sign. Your logo here. Double click on this smart object. You will open your logo. Go to the file place embedded. If you work in the recent version of Photoshop, place embedded. Choose your PSD file that you save it from Illustrator, logo vector. I'm gonna scale it a little bit holding Shift and Alt. Then I apply changes and delete my previous file. Save the changes in my smart object. Click yes and voila. I have this beautiful 3D sign, but before we end this tutorial, I'm gonna show you that I use my mockups not only to showcase my final work, but also to showcase my workflow. So here I have another mockup, download it from second link in the description. And here I have my smart object. And now I want to use another command. I want to export, save for web, and save it as a PNG file. Save it as a PNG from my Illustrator. Return to my Photoshop. Double click on this smart object. Go to file, place embedded, choose my PNG file. Increase a little bit size of this PNG file, apply changes, delete all another stuff from here and close my smart object saving the changes. And voila, I have this beautiful mockup. So this is basically the end of this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, please do not hesitate to thumb up, subscribe, share it with your friends. I want to thank you for following to the end. Have a nice day. Day.